Welcome back, everybody. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. You guys should know where you're at. You're at the motherboards.org YouTube channel where we do the fancy dancy stuff with all the good computer stuff. Yeah, I like it. You like it too. That said, you guys have probably seen our unboxing that we did last week. We had two of the latest Asus HD 7770 Direct CU top cards. Now, we did an unboxing of both those cards. Now, today we're going to actually do the full review. We'll bring you the features, the scores, the price, the heat, all that good stuff. So that said, let's jump in and start checking out these two cards. The Direct CU is part of their extensive cooling. This is a totally non-reference design that features dual 8mm heat pipes and it also features extreme fan tuning. What this does for the card is it helps manage all of the cooling features on the card. If the card doesn't need any cooling at all, the fan almost drops off to a non-existent movement. If the card needs more cooling, it speeds up. This extreme fan tuning helps the card run for a really long time and is very good for those people wanting to do overclocking because it adds lots of headroom to the card. Now, some of the basic features of the card. This card features 640 stream processors. 40 texture units, and 16 ROPs. It also comes overclocked. The memory on it is 1150 megahertz with a 4600 megahertz overall bandwidth. The core clock is at 1120 megahertz. This card also features one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory and a 128-bit memory interface. Now, a lot of people have made comments saying that this is a really drawback to the card, being that the 6670s had a 256-bit memory interface. This is an all-new, shrunk-down 28 nanometer process, and according to the specs, this should actually run on par with previous generation cards. We also get PCI 3.0. A lot of people have anticipated this, and we all know Ivy Bridge is about to launch, so soon we're going to see the reality of how good these cards do in that. So lastly, let's take a look at the rear I.O. We have two main display ports, a single HDMI, and a single DVI. Maximum display is 2560 by 1600, so it'll support any of your TVs you got at home, and using the HDMI connection will work really well because it provides sound and audio. As far as our test station goes, we're still using our old i7 Extreme platform. This includes our 990X processor. We have 12 gigabytes of Kingston HyperX memory. And we're also using the Gigabyte Sniper motherboard. You guys can see that here behind me. Also got the card set up in crossfire mode, ready to rock and roll. Now, let's jump into the heart of the matter, the performance. So you guys have seen everything about this card. You guys know it has superior cooling. The DirectCU top card is geared for the overclocker and that cooling is there so that you can tweak the hell out of that card and get your maximum performance out of it. These cards are coming to market at about $159 a piece. So think about this. You're gonna be able to get a complete Crossfire setup for under $325. Now, that is an excellent thing. A lot of you people, I just want to reemphasize, have complained about the 128-bit memory interface being a drawback, but believe me, it's really not. This is all new technology based on the 28 nanometer process, and everything is different on this. Before you really get mad about it, actually take it and compare it. The 6770 is a previous generation card, and on paper it does look like it's a superior card, but in performance test, it's really not. This card's actually geared to hit the market and compare with right around the 550Ti from the folks at NVIDIA. A same solution from them is around the same price. For me, I think if you're gonna have a choice of a Crossfire solution, the absolute best entry-level one you can get is a pair of HD 7770 cards. 
It's about $320. I think that's excellent. And these Asus cards have all kinds of great cooling features, come overclocked, and their overclocking software actually works quite well. It's actually getting better than using the afterburner stuff I used to before. So at the end of the day, I give these cards an editor's choice. Thank Asus for giving us the cards and hope to see you guys here on motherboards.org very soon.